Hey what's up guys, Evan here again with another deck review and today I'll be reviewing the Platinum Edition of the Seasons Playing Cards. They're some of the most beautiful decks of cards that I own and definitely one of my favorites. I have the first ones that were printed and they're not the Platinum Edition. They have more gold and these ones have more silver and you'll see that in the deck. So let's start off and take a look at the boxes. As you can see, the boxes are sort of meant to go together, and it's a really neat box. They have silver foil and embossing all around here, and it really shines nicely. The white deck has the name Primavera, and the black deck has the name Saranda on the side. And the back of the deck is pretty much the same, except that instead of saying the name of the deck, it says Edition, so Saranda Edition and Primavera Edition. The top of the box says Seasons, and the bottom of the box has the Seasons logo and some copyright info. The sides of the box say New Magic Finish and Aristocrat Stock, so there's your stock and finish. And this side says the United States Playing Card Company. Now when you open up the box, you get a really nice silver metallic foil design on there, which looks beautiful. And then on here you have two leaves on those tabs. So to start off, we'll take a look at the extra cards that you get. You get a Seasons Add card in each deck, and they're just slightly different. No major differences. And now we'll take a look at the gaffed cards that it comes with. For the white deck, it has a card that has the back design on one side, and then a similar but noticeably different design on the other side, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's a very cool design. And the black deck, you have a gaff card that is the back design on one side, and a gold metallic ink King of Hearts, whereas the other one is silver. So that's pretty cool. That could make for some cool color changes or card changes. Now we'll take a look at the Ace of Spades in each deck. For the Saranda deck, it's probably my favorite. The Ace of Spades is really incredible looking. The silver metallic ink that's used throughout the deck really looks stunning and as you can see the Ace of Spades just pops right off the card and it looks beautiful. Now we'll take a look at the Primavera deck. Again the silver metallic ink is just beautiful looking. So there is your Ace of Spades. Now we'll take a look at the Jokers which are also just stunning. As you can see, it's like a peacock with some feathers sticking up, and it, it just looks awesome. Again, silver metallic ink, it looks beautiful on this deck. And as you can see right there, there's a six of spades reveal, whereas the other one does not have that. And with the Primavera deck, it's a different reveal. In the mouth of the peacock, you have a two of clubs reveal, and the other one does not as you can see. And again, silver metallic ink, which looks awesome. Now we'll take a look at the number cards. We'll start off with the Saranda deck. There's your diamonds. The diamonds are really neat. They almost look like shields to me. And as you can see, it's fully custom. The court cards are custom too, which we'll get to in a second. Here are your clubs. They're like perfect circles, which is really neat. And the hearts. The red that they used is a nice deep red, which just looks awesome. And here is your ten of spades. Now we'll take a look at the Primavera deck number cards. It's the same design, it just looks a little different on the white background. And it really looks very clean and sleek. Here are your hearts. And here are the spades. So those are your number cards. Now we'll take a look at the court cards. In the Saranda deck, you'll see that the shadowing really gives it a nice pop off of that black background. And you'll see it all around in the other court cards too. And you can see that fully custom design is really unique and awesome looking. There's silver metallic ink which gives the cards a beautiful shine. 
And there's your king. The king is probably my favorite. I just love these. Now we'll take a look at the ones from the Primavera deck. They're the same design. Like I said before, it just may look a little different with a white background. Here is your queen of hearts. And here is your king of spades. Now the difference between the Platinum Edition decks and the first season's decks is not a huge difference, just the color of the face cards is different. The court cards, the joker, the ace, and the number cards, that's all different. But the back designs are exactly the same. And I'll show you guys these. The Saranda deck has a slightly different back design. It is noticeable when you hold them side by side, you can see that there are some differences. And the black deck has thin borders while the white deck doesn't. That was the same with the first decks as well. I'm not sure why, but I do like the thin borders better. So this is the one that I prefer of the two. The detail in this deck is just beautiful. There's shading and it just gives a nice pop. Now we'll take a look at the Primavera deck. Again, that shading is awesome. It's just a really original, great looking design. So now that we've seen the design of the deck, let's take a look at the handling. The deck has Aristocrat stock and Magic finish, which is the same combination that the first decks had. It's a great combination. The handling is just excellent. So for fans, it's great. The pips sort of show, but I would have liked to see them closer to the edge. Now with these thin borders, the back design shows and it looks beautiful. It creates a really, really nice pattern on the cards and I just love it. Thumb fans with this deck are nice, very easy to do. The soft stock allows for easy, smooth pressure fans, which is great. Spreads in the hands are nice and the design shows. The paw spreads with that soft stock are really easy to do and spreads on the close-up pad look awesome. A lot of the design shows and it creates a beautiful, beautiful pattern. For farrowing, the deck is great. Farrows very, very well and pretty easily, which is great. As you can see, a very, very nice farrow that might even be a perfect farrow, so that's really nice. For giant fans, this deck is great. As you can see, a lot of the design shows and it looks beautiful. And I'll give you guys a closer look at that design. It really looks awesome. The Primavera deck pharaohs just as well as the Saranda deck. And the Giant fans also look very nice. It's a bit of a different design, which gives it a different look. And despite the standard size borders, the Giant fans still look awesome. So this is a great deck of cards. Only 2,500 of each color will be printed, so they're very limited. So if you're a collector, definitely, definitely get these. I definitely recommend them. If you're a magician, you might want these, you might not. They look really nice. It's a very clean look, but they're not exactly standard, so spectators might be a little bit suspicious with these cards. And if you're a flourisher, I totally recommend these. They have a very nice feel to them, and the design is awesome, so it'll look great for flourishing. So I'll display the link here to where you can get these cards, and I'll put it in the description, so check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.